Tony Hunt has always played video games, but usually only for a half an hour a day. During the pandemic, it's been up to five hours. It gives me something to do, it, you know, really keep, you know, takes my mind of everything else that's going on. Before COVID, he spent most of his time volunteering at the local fire hall, taking kids on tours and organizing fundraising events. With most of that now canceled, he's not the only one turning to video games to pass the time. There's no question that the pandemic has, has supercharged the industry. According to the Entertainment Software Association of Canada, sales are up 25 percent, mostly due to online purchases. And that's already translating into more jobs for programmers and digital artists. I mean, in Nova Scotia, I believe there's upwards of 30 openings right now in an industry that employs about 300 people. Uh, you know, in Quebec, uh, there is about 2,000 job openings right now in an industry that employs 13,000 people. I mean, this is in the middle of what what is the worst economic situation in 75 years. It's so quiet here. It is very quiet here. The gaming industry has also had to adjust to remote work, but don't let the empty studio fool you. This gaming company is among those hiring due to high sales. We've brought on about 16 people, and we're still uh, in the hunt for another uh, four or five the question post-pandemic will be whether people will continue spending so much time playing video games when they can return to other activities. People will have learned a, a behavior. They will have um, been introduced to games, found an affinity for games, or the communities and the friends that they've made. Tony Hunt says he won't be one of them. Score. Video games are helping him through the pandemic, but he says he'll be back volunteering in the community just as soon as he's able. Kayla Hounsel, CBC News, Lunenburg, Nova Scotia.